smoking RAS 47 back to the AK Operators Union as you guys know we did almost a year ago we did the initial review uh, of the first RAS 47 we were we weren't very impressed with it uh, then we had a lot of feedback from you guys a negative feedback about the RAS 47 and uh, we have formed our opinion about it this time because of again because of uh, some of you guys were asking for it we made the control purchase we took a completely random RAS 47 first from the top we purchased 5,000 rounds that's all thanks to your support guys thanks for shopping at the AK Operators Union store and we purchased this uh, specimen it's a RAS 47 uh, supposedly the newest generation however it still has that old side rail I know that the newer ones are you know coming out very soon they will have a different rail so uh, but I wanted to have the regular rail on it so this is uh, this is a uh, you know rifle which we just purchased it and uh, we started uh, gently uh, we feed it with uh, some good wolf ammo and uh, try to contain uh, that uh, beast uh, right off the bat I will tell you that after the first 500 rounds and I didn't even look inside the rifle yet uh, it's still warm but uh, the stock become uh, you know loose so what we're going to do we're going to tighten up the screws and uh, make sure that that wobbling will uh, disappear but the stock stock is loose so rifle is cleared don't worry that I want to keep magazine inside but let me see what is happening inside the guts of the rifle and as I said I didn't even have a look yet to it uh, all right nothing really special on the, the recoil spring button uh, I know that the, some of them had issues with it uh, but uh, I don't see even aware on that one all right by the way the dust cover on this example stays fit doesn't rattle on our uh, first example which we had it was rattling and uh, moving so hey they did some improvement okay uh, inside I will tell you right away that they still don't put the retainer plate for the for the trigger pins uh, it's a still a so-called you know paper clip or shepherd's shepherd's hook so that didn't change the trigger is uh, century arms rak1 and uh, they use the wolf spring for the trigger all right let's pull out that uh, bolt carrier and have a look <laughs> okay guys there's deformation there's some some things happening on the bolt let's start with the bolt first I mean I'll take a pictures uh, and you know it's hard to judge right away I'll take a detailed pictures and post it so you guys can see it right away what's happening but uh, I see the metal discoloration right here and uh, you know but uh, that, that could be anything we'll see but uh, definitely this is the, the freshly shaved off metal uh, from the bolt uh, then the bolt is a little bit chipping on the bottom here but again maybe uh, maybe that will stop we'll see and then uh, on okay so this is the locking lug uh, other than this hard to tell again I'll take a detailed pictures and we'll see how this is going to uh, progress and we'll track that all right that's for the bolt let me check with the bolt carrier uh, the bolt carrier seems to be uh, getting taking a beating here uh, and again I'll post the pictures uh, this is you know that's a fresh metal too but uh, that that could be normal and uh, there are some you know shavings here and there on the bolt carrier oh and there is a deformation on the tail of course uh, on the tail and yep <laughs> it's a nice one uh, on the dovetail of the bolt carrier you cannot make this up guys so the bolt carrier uh, it started to uh, deform uh, again we'll see we'll track it we'll see uh, you know we'll document it we'll see how this is going to progress uh, what is happening here also I don't know there is some flesh bare metal exposed here but that could be normal but the bolt carrier dovetail for sure I uh, took a beating and uh, on the right side my right side uh, I can see it's deforming so and the cylinder I mean piston piston looks good to me 
All right, let's have a quick look inside the trunion and the guts of the rifle. Uh, I don't see anything jumping out right right away from the top of the trunion from my point of view. Um, again, rivets, I'll take a detailed pictures and then if I'll spot something, uh, you know, you, we can always uh, discuss it uh, after seeing the pictures. It's easier, guys. I know it's like what he's talking about, but when you have those rifles right off the bat and, uh, you know, right from the field, I don't see every uh, detail like, I, like we can see it later on on the monitor. Uh, but uh, so far, so good. There is, There are some markings at the bottom of the trunion uh, from the, you know, la bolt locking to it. But uh, again, you know, we'll see that's it, it, hard to tell at this point. This point looks uh, rather, rather normal, but we'll continue to track. That's what we're doing. 5,000 rounds, guys. Uh, we'll run through the 5,000 rounds. Uh, this was the 500 rounds and we'll see how this is going to progress. Uh, also, what we did with the rifle today, of course, the magazine dumps, but but to be fair, uh, I was monitoring the temperature, uh, trying to keep it, uh, you know, try to not overheat it because this is the first time when we're running uh, that rifle and I wanted to give it a good run, uh, you know, develop the rifle a little bit, let that uh, metal settle down and, uh, and work it. We had zero malfunctions. So uh, I want to be fair, we had zero malfunctions on the rifle so far. All 500 rounds went perfectly and we are using the Wolf uh, full metal jacket ammo so uh, that worked perfectly um, no issues whatsoever also the magazines fitment uh, to the magazine well uh, it's working very nicely with all types of the magazines so I cannot complain about that all right so far from what I'm seeing here everything looks good let me see if this is going to cooperate that gas tube with with us but I bet you know it's oh I'm able yep I moved Ooh, the retard strength all right, and the gas tube is out. Uh, I know some guys were complaining about the chippings on the gas tube. Uh, that one looks okay. Nothing really happened. I don't know how you can have the freaking missing uh, pieces of metal on the gas tube, but that's what happened to one of the guys. So I'll be monitoring this as well. And the gas block inside looks okay to me too. All right, guys, uh, 500 rounds down. 4,500 rounds left. Again, thank you very much for supporting, uh, you know, Union for purchasing from our store. As I said, we will do the projects like this uh, because of your support. So uh, this is a classic example. One more note: uh, I thought that that front post is moving extremely easy. I mark it and I thought that maybe it will get loose, you know, start unscrewing or screwing in. But no, I mark it and it hold the place, it didn't move. So uh, it is very easy to adjust, but it's staying in place. So, uh, you know, good job. Uh, that's it. As I said, other than uh, the stock so far and some, you know, shavings, uh, we'll see, we'll track these. Uh, I don't see anything jumping out of, uh, out of the gate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions.